Wednesday, welcome to tonight's episode of Your Manchester with me, Michael Adams. What a show I have got for you this evening. So not only will be will we be announcing a brand new competition, more on that a little bit later on, but I'll also be delving into how the brand new Crossroads DVD collection box set came around with the network distributing marketing team. We've also got a really exciting chat with the start, brand new production coming to the Lowry in June. That's Vardy versus Rooney. Of course, it captivated all of us during lockdown. Not only that, our Haley will be delving into the best of the TV and film. Here's how your Wednesday night is shaping up. But first, you may have seen the brand new drama on ITVX. Nolly, which is based around the life of former Crossroads star Noel Gordon, and it stars Helena Bonham Carter in the lead role. It's also been produced right here in Greater Manchester by Key Street Productions, headed up by Russell T Davies. And more to coincide with this brand new drama, Network DVDs have released a box set featuring, get this, 700 archive episodes, the only surviving episodes of Crossroads from Noel Gordon's time on the programme, which is available now. And well, to talk with me about it is the Network marketing team and Stephen Quitt. Hello to you, Stephen. Firstly, what can you tell us about Network? Well, Network's been around, actually celebrated uh, 25 years last year. We really champion uh, archive television. So from 1997, the first uh, first release that we brought out was Charlie Says. So any of your viewers who have ever heard of public information films, that's where Network really started. And then over yeah. the years, uh, we've brought out so many uh, old TV programs, comedies, dramas. So obviously over the years, you guys have also released quite a lot of archive soap operas. I know you've had your Emmerdale Farm releases, Coronation Street, and of course, over the years, some Crossroads episodes. But What's unique about Crossroads compared to the other soaps is that a lot of the episodes are missing. Over the period of ATV, so when ATV lost their franchise back in 1981, there had been just over 3,500 episodes of Crossroads made, and actually only 700, just over 700 episodes exist, uh, mainly because soap operas back in the day weren't seem, seemed as um, interesting enough to keep. Yeah. Um, also, videos, uh, videotape used to cost a fortune. So you used to get these big uh, two-inch videotapes that used to cost nearly a thousand pound each, um, and they used to have to reuse them. Um, and then over the years, uh, a number of uh, episodes have been found through some called tele recordings, which were black and white recordings that were sold abroad. Um, and thankfully, some of those were crossroads. Well, yes, obviously there's there's a lot of interest being generated in Noel Gordon over the past couple of weeks. Um, Russell T Davies' brand new uh, drama, Nolly, three-part series exclusive to ITVX at the moment, was made right here in Manchester um, and stars Helena Bonham Carter, of all people, as Noel Gordon. Yeah. Did you time your release to coincide with that or was it something you'd had planned for a, a long time previous? I think when Network found out that Nolly was being produced we thought it was probably the best opportunity to get Noel Gordon out there even more and there's such a, a love of Noel Gordon love of the character love of crossroads over the years and um, that it was probably the best time to do it 
And h- how have these episodes been found? I mean, you said obviously a lot of them are tele recordings. Are they ones perhaps that fans might not realise they have in their their basement or in their attic, or maybe they've been held by private collectors? How did Network come to acquire them? Yeah, it's a bit of a mix, really. So the majority of them came from ITV themselves. Uh, thankfully, a lot of them are. Uh, from their archive. Um, but then over the years, there's been um, VHS's, beta maxes, you know, of episodes or just partial episodes. Maybe someone's actually just done a, a recording off the, the TV with a microphone. And um, some of these are special features that are part of the set. Um, and it's what, what, at this moment in time, what we think exists. Um, like you said, unfortunately, not everything exists anymore, um, but we've pretty much got everything that we think's there at this moment in time. How can people yeah. get their hands on this uh, this release? Right, so if you take a look at networkonair.com, it's an exclusive to our website, and if you take a look on there, you'll, go to, uh, you'll find the website for Crossroads, and you can order it there, and... Uh, Hope you enjoy it. Cheers, Stephen. Really looking forward to seeing that. And well, we have got an exclusive competition just for your Manchester viewers to get your hands on that DVD box set. You might have seen it announced on our social media last night. And all you have to do is head over to our Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. Give it a like, give it a share, give it a retweet. Follow us and Network Tweets to be within a chance of winning it. So you might be wondering what's happening on the small screen and indeed over at our cinemas. And well, Hayley Cartwright knows all of that. Over to you, Hayley. Hi, I'm Hayley and welcome to your film and your TV. Now, if you have a family and they like Barbie, that film Barbie is out in July and it stars the brilliant Helen Mirren, so I may actually just watch it because she's in it. It also stars Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling. It's wonderful living in Barbie land, unless you are Ken out in July. Another film is Killers of the Flower Moon and that is about murders under mysterious circumstances in the 1920s and it sparks a major FBI investigation. It stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Lily Gladstone and Robert De Niro. That was supposed to be out last year but it's been pushed back to this year so keep an eye on that one being released. It looks brilliant. Maestro and Bradley Cooper is the director, co-writer and star and he plays Leonard Bernstein the outsized conductor, composer and celebrity who towered over the music world in the first half of the 20th century. It's about the complex love of Leonard and Felicia uh, from 1946 through their 25-year marriage and three children. This is out later this year as well. Oh, and don't forget, before I go, don't forget, Funny Woman is actually out from Thursday this week and it's available on Sky. Keep an eye on that because you will spot some Manchester-based actors as well. Now that's it from me. I shall catch you next time. And remember, stronger together. Bye. Cheers, Hayley. And well, something that captivated me and I'm sure you were sitting at home as well during lockdown was the Vardy versus Rooney Wagatha Christie trial, of course, kicked off by a little spat on social media and it went mad. And well, can you believe it? They have made a play about it, which is on at the Lowry in June. And well, joining me now to talk all about it is Rebecca Vardy herself, or should I say Lucy May Barker, who was playing her in the production. Out of everything, I never thought they would make a play out of this. Uh, can you give a bit of a background for our viewers who perhaps haven't quite followed the trial, what it's all about? I mean, honestly, if you haven't seen or heard anything about this trial, then I don't know where you've been. Um, It is the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook war between Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Vardy um, because Colleen suspected that Rebecca was leaking stories to the press, leaking stories from her private Instagram story. um, And... The play is the exact verbatim words that happened in the trial. So it's it's like you're in the courtroom. It's something that I don't think any of us would have imagined would have ever have come out of this at the time. It just seems so bizarre. And now it's going to be on stages in Greater Manchester. Yes, I know. It is, the, it is the maddest thing. And, and I think the way the law is at the moment, this would never have happened. A case like this would never have happened five years ago, it probably won't happen in another five years. So it really is a moment in media law history, I think. And the fact that, you know, it's so wildly 
covered in the press. So how does this role compare to ones that you've played in the past? Obviously, you've been in Mamma Mia. This is quite different playing Rebecca Vardy, I imagine. Yes, very, very different. It was, you know, it's been really amazing playing a real person. You know, I've never played a, a, a character, yeah. a real person before. And that's been really interesting. But, you know, Rebecca's done so many TV appearances and interviews and things. So, it, you know, it's really easy to get a sense of her and her personality. And I'm, I'm trying not to do a you know, an impression of her. Well, I'll tell you what, Lucy, you have given it quite the write-up. I am so looking forward to seeing it. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's playing at the Lowry in Salford for three nights from the 9th to the 11th of June. And uh, we wish you the best of luck with it. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you there. Now, that's the end of the programme. Just got a couple of minutes to tell you uh, that the former neighbours style, well, He's about to return to the programme. Alan Fletcher will be joining us in a couple of weeks here on Your Manchester. And he's also got a little Instagram live going out at 8pm Australian time tomorrow. So don't miss that. And don't forget as well, you need to uh, head over to our social media to get involved with our Crossroads competition. We'll be announcing the winner in next Sunday's programme. Thank you very much for joining me on this week's episode of Your Manchester!